We've got a really charming boat here. She's called Infinity. She's actually the second of two Infinities to arrive this week. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. But this one's reference 1846. She is a 62 foot cruiser stern built by Colcraft and fitted out by Bremerton Boats in 1988. She's been excellently cared for actually. Um, she was last blacked in August 2020 with a survey at the same time which is available for viewing in the office um, and the engine was last serviced in 2019 but it's only done around 100 hours since so it's pretty good. As you can see on the roof there we've got two solar panels there 165 each so 330 watts of solar with an MPPT controller. There is also on the uh, stern deck there is a freestanding Generac 2100 generator which was serviced in April 2019 as well so as I say oh there's Commodore Bumble he's gonna come along and give his seal of approval as I say really cared well cared for hope you'll agree so well deck we've got benches either side storage underneath there's the two 13 kilogram gas bottles in there with plenty of other storage Bumble, not sure whether he's allowed in. Oh, there we go. Stable doors, glazed stable doors and glazed forward bulkheads. And in we go. The saloon is 14 feet 9 inches long. Here we've got these two captain's chairs with the matching footstools. There's a gate leg table as well in the middle. There's four folding chairs for that. You can see a couple up there under the gunnels got storage over here to the left of the doors there is storage inside those steps as well to view out across the well deck the more so squirrel stove this room as you can see is carpeted and the, the hull sides are lined with laminate it's a 24 inch TV there that can be 240 or 12 volt there's also a 240 sound bar there, at the other end as well there is the Pioneer car stereo. Head height on this boat is 6 feet and um, all the lighting is LED throughout except for in the bathroom. Then we've got the galley. The galley is 8 foot 4. There's a Cookworks microwave, the Vanette oven and grill and the Vanette 4 burner gas hob. Nice big drawers there. There's your cooking. Decent size oven and grill, actually. More cupboards. The freezer on this, the fridge freezer, is a hair fridge freezer. It's got a completely separate freezer box on the top. There's also a couple of shelves up on the bulkhead next to the fridge freezer. Struggling to get in there. There we are. Stainless steel sink, again cupboards underneath. And next to that we've got the Candy Aquamatic washing machine. And another little cupboard. Plenty of storage in here, hooks, rails, shelves, that sort of thing. Been there, a few more shelves. Then we've got the off corridor bathroom. Opposite that there is the uh, side hatch as well. This is really just a toilet room to be honest. You've got the Thetford cassette, there is two spare cassettes and storage underneath the ceramic basin there. Next, you've got the 13 feet, 10 inch long bedroom. The bed, as you can see there, can be made up to be a sofa or it can be extended currently in the current format to a king size bed, which is six foot four by five feet. You could also, the base is um, a, a sort of more standard double size, so you could swap those mattresses out for a more traditional double if that's what you'd like. Drawers, a little cupboard, large wardrobe at the end here. 
larger than on most boats, to be honest. Should mention as well, there is drawers underneath that sofa bed. Um, well, not really a sofa bed, but you know what I mean. A um, couple of drawers, plenty of storage. The calorifier is under there as well for hot water. That's just a view looking forward. And the final little room is where the shower is. So completely separate from the, the midship bathroom. Got square tray with tiled surround and glass doors here. And then there's a little cupboard and shelves next to it. All your mooring equipment and bits and pieces are in that cupboard for easy access from the stern. It's quite a nice little room this. You could easily use it as a boot room. Rainy days come in from the rain after cruising. Take your shoes off, get in the shower. And then you're, you're not messing up the rest of the boat. And then we've got the, the cruiser stern deck. The engine's under here. That's a BMC 1.5. It was reconditioned in 2014 and it's only got 1,764 hours on the clock. It's a PRM Delta 2.1 gearbox. Batteries are also in here. There are 413 domestics and one starter battery. There is also a battery monitor on board. That's the generator I mentioned earlier. And then the view from the helmsman's position. So the, the boat is heated by an Aberspatcher diesel fired heater to three radiators and the heated tail rail in that back shower room. The hot water is heated by the engine, the immersion or the Aberspatcher. There's also a landline galvanic isolator, all the sort of things that you need to be moored up or, or continuous cruising really. The, there is an inverter for the 240 power, it's a spanning swandler, 2500 watt up to 5000 watt inverter and there is a Procharge Ultra battery charger. So there we have her. This is Infinity reference 1846 for photos, fully downloadable colour brochure and probably more pictures of Bumble. Uh, go to our website at rugbyboats.co.uk